Come on. Man, I wanted to go with OG this time. You know what? I'll stand by my lines, boys. Just because they have the Ake Chen, they have the Bulldog, Lone Druid. They have basically comfort heroes. I'm just... Oracle, though. This Legion Commander and the Oracle. That's Those are the two big ones for me right now. Oracle has not had a great win. Ake, uh, also only five. Uh, a bit of bad luck, but he's had more impact in the lanes with all the smoke gang, so... Yeah. He's secured a slight lead here. Midnight they jumped in on S4. The remnants come crashing out, and then the boulder kick smashes the crop into the ground. Oh, gee. Make the queen. They, they're just avoiding that mid tower completely. Same thing. Avoid Moon. He's got Ravage up. He's Dyer's got the mech. There's no point in being fortified. there. Just let Bulldog do his own thing bottom. Dyer's Try to delay them a little bit and just attack. place them in the enemy jungle. Radiance oh, bottom they tower scout out Ake here. Attack. Miracle wants to go. The TPs Dyer's are coming. Pings are out. And fallen. Moon flanks. Will he get there in time? Miracle tracking Ake down. Finds the secure chains. Play level 6 maybe. Goes for the stop. Leave him. And they throw a boulder there. But the remnants forward will end him. And fly <laughs> celebrates it and to the back. So now relocate okay. about to come out. Consider this. Might be able to get it here. Fly scouting him out. He goes for the quick kick. Rolling in with the boulder. Cost of damage. Joe and actually went right through him. The tentacle just pierced his hero, but apparently wasn't actually in stun range. Still though, Miracle chasing him down with the flame guard. Oh, the flame couldn't quite get up. If that spirit didn't hit him, I think he actually may have lived there. Top lane getting pressured. That was bizarre. It clearly looks like the rabbit should have hit him visually, but yeah, uh, it works out in the end anyway. Loda duels no tail, preventing the bristleback from offering anything, and it is the first duel victory of the game. Alliance make it long time. I guess they just want to be able to have the timings timing sooner. They want to be able to push these towers down early. They know Ravage is down right now, so this is the time to be able to try to pressure lanes. However, OG does not want to drop a tower. They're bringing four or five heroes everywhere that the tower is being pressured. They want that bear, but it does manage to get up the Savage Roar, though the kick comes through anyway. They're trying to heal it up with the Oracle. Not gonna happen. EGM ends up going down and out. The chase tower is just going to get the silence. Really good control, but he does pick up. Another kick up. Going to get up the Straight down the middle, that's two kills, and they have almost got a third out of it. That's for we'll make it home. But oh gee, keep on pressing in, and, and the... Especially because, of course, you know, fortified. when Wisp is tethered with something, you, you get the double heal. They were, ever, they were able just to punish uh, lines being a little bit too aggressive. That's far, he's just getting going. Every time I see Miracle, he's chasing his poor Queen of Pain. And it seems S4 is not going to be rushing an Orchid. He's actually going, oh, oh defense, uh oh, no. oh, S4, you can't afford to make that kind of a mistake. <laughs> that was, yeah, I guess he just, something happened there, like something with the mouse or something. Misclick. That was a very weird blink there for S4. Oh, it's Still a costly one. Top lane, top river. Oh, number two. There it is. Oh, the oh, he's snagging a history, and Miracle just runs in, he wants to call the squishy supports. He knows the duels are there for S4. Oh, it's a costly one. On top lane, top river. Oh, number two. There it is. Oh, the oh, is snagging the history, and the Miracle just rushes in, he wants to call the squishy supports. He knows the duels are cooldown, but Loda does have the haste to work with, so a lot of damage. As Miracle overextended, has one remnant. Oh, no, he's turned. Oh, he just got a little. Oh, is he going to live? Is he going to live? Barely <laughs> survive. Well, the timing was just right for him. Slightly off for S4, but it works out in the end for the Wonder Kid. BGM, though. Team. Where's my team? He's not going anywhere. S4 looks terrible perhaps, has his ultimate, they're slowly working EGM down, the first time expires, they will kill him up. Now S4, nuking Crash, and he takes again, he turns desperately with the crop and again he pops S4, 0-4, that is not the performance they're expecting of his three pain, and here from the rear comes Y, goes for the kick through, and they get to work, loaded with the gear, no tail dropping fairly quickly, but Miracle said he's going to magnetize, water work, 10 4 okay, on the chance of it, first up in the Ely, and they chase hard work, it's not a fatal, it's the main, Eight for our kids, and it's not enough! Moon shuts them down, four heroes, back to the well for Alliance, and the fifth is running for dear life. And Miracle's full heal there. Guardian Greaves plus the Wisp, relocate coming out, they're looking for load up, Blink Dagger's on cooldown, a Miracle thought he was going left, but it doesn't seem like they're going to catch him. They committed a buy- cool interaction too, you saw how when he remnant the top, it just didn't move? It's because the fortune's end stops movement. So your remnant just doesn't move because you have no movement. That was 
I, I just really didn't know that that's the way it yeah, did. Yeah, he just like, you know what I know he's got a couple of units away, but they're trying to keep him alive. Kurt with the tether in, Loda looking for turn number three, it's not going to happen. This time it's another kill for OG, as Miracle continues chasing forward. They banned the for a second phase, so OG took it earlier in this game, and you can see why. The Miracle Show is live here to give it a riot. Seem to have no answers for him at this point. EGM in the trees. Can he TP out? That's not gonna happen. Another four heroes. Self destruction sequence activated. Alliance are losing it. OG just, they're doing such a good job of responding to these pushes. They don't care if the Ravage wasn't up like you were saying before. They just don't want to lose those tier ones, which I think is extremely. They're getting outnumbered. So is it about not fighting, just having, being more selective as to when you fight? Definitely being more selective as to when you fight, but at this point now, it's it's very scary because ideally with Chen, you want to have another tier another tier 1 tower, but now Fly gets pulled up. Oh, it is another dual win for Loda, stacking them up, a moon is about to get a Ravage, and the Guardian Greaves keep him in fighting shape a bit longer, now the relocate okay. comes in, the punish again from OG, looking for Loda, it's going to try to run him down with the pistol back, the IO they will, a double kill for crit, Miracle hunting for the third. But S4 able to retreat. Again, just getting outnumbered. You know, they get they get the nice kill on the Earth Spirit, but at the same time, they just bring in th another, like, two heroes. They have one hero already there behind the Earth Spirit, and then they just reload in two more. And they're, they're hunting for a, a third kill once again. Ake, gonna get caught out here. The Queen of Pain all comes from behind and sits by Io. I will bring down Crit, but it comes at the cost of S4. It's gonna be four heroes from the looks of things. Light of Fist makes it so. Another quad hero takedown. OG, I think the third or fourth of the game. It has been a bloodbath and mostly favoring them. And now Miracle has completed a battle fury, but he's doing it by farming heroes. Now 9, 0, and 9 with a 7, 3, and 10 with four Crit. Two relative youngsters here on the top tier one Dota, and they are showing just how much they can get done, but you can feel no tail maybe overextending his own right. Loda collects victory number 233. Three. Typical Moon. And they're moving in. Moon overextending as well. Oh, I'll heal up for a bit, but no burst. So, Alliance stabilized. They get three. They also ended a And the way Alliance have itemized as well, it's not as much for the late game. It's a blade now blink dagger leading commander. There's no radiance inside the Baron. Here we go. The kills that they need. Load of Blakey Fort. 62 dual victory damage. The might get punished. The Ravage connects on two. They won S4. Dual Scepter's there. Gonna need one auto attack. Light of Fist chains. Miracle again. Shutting down S4. One and seven. The nine deal and 11 of Miracle. We can clearly see this at the upper hand in that particular match. Matchup and Loda will be next. Two cores down for a support Earth Spirit. Fly is going to take that trade all the way to the bank. He even finishes up the Mjolnir. And the Lions continue to find themselves just a little bit more in the Dyer's hole, bit by bit. Looks like they want to threaten a bit. Oh, oh Moon Blake said, and he was thinking about a Ravage on S4. But he was Fly was not quite in range. Fly's getting into position now, though. They can go Those for this, in. waiting for the boulder smash to see if it connects. Tower. It won't. And he won't bother. Miracles come for the, the rear flank. Got the remnant. Go up the Aegis. They will connect the door. They broke it. They can the rear flank. They can shred it quickly for the damage of Goto. And a line for themselves on the run. Round two comes through. How do they kill a member? A second time he jumps forward, and it's right where Aki is retreating. So he's gonna look to finish him off. Bulldog getting controlled, kited, and smacked down by an angry armadillo as OG extends the lead by another two kills. Remnant hunting for third, but the Chen is out. Ake bails on the team and treats home. Everything going OG's way, but this may be a small victory for Alliance. Even this, no! Nothing for free. Giannis, nothing gets the kill, for free. gets the experience, at least S4 gets that big bounty there at the end. 1500 experience going the way. Not at the moment with a, they're just gonna go for the high ground push. Oh, and now Moon is completed the negatives. Yep. So you've got your, your long range Hey, we got More spam to go with the Ember, it's a pretty cool combo if you think about it. Just lower, the, lower everyone's armor, then go in for the slight of the fist. BKB now. now committed. Loda going hard on no kill. The Miracle says, Great, you're gonna ignore me. And then there's a relocate. They bring them back to relocate. safety. Ravage is still available. They Alliance. They expended the quapple. They expended the duel. Those are the only real team fight ultimates that they have. And OG basically is nothing aside from relocate. And now they're gonna look for the jump. Moon is ready to swag on some heroes. Get ready for the blink Ravage. Get ready for the belly flops. He's holding it patiently. 
Alright, maybe Moonstone is less than. He's waited until game three. I mean, we, we saw him do it a bit prematurely in some series in the past, but this time, he's holding it like a There you go! On to three! Alliance, no chance! Eviscerated. Slaughtered. Completely destroyed. They have still not killed Miracle. 12, 0, and 16. Even Crit is having an incredible game. 10, 4, and 16, and there it is. GG. Wow. I really, I really have to attribute this win to OG just because of how keen they were on defending those tier 1 towers like, I was, like we were both kind of just saying they didn't have Ravage but it didn't really matter they were just like if we lose these towers that's the only way that Alliance can win this game they have